Hello and welcome. This is Lisa Jones, and you are listening to the Exploring Death Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Exploring Death Podcast. I'm Lisa Jones, your host, and today I have with me Myra Mossman. Myra is a federal criminal appeals attorney who has handled complex cases before the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit and appeared before the U.S. Supreme Court. She is also an archival hand bookbinder and paper restorer, a martial artist, and a reader and teacher of the tarot and the Kabbalah. And in her recently published memoir entitled My Random Death, she discusses her near-death experience and how it shaped her life's work. Welcome, Myra. Hello, Lisa. Thank you for having me. I would love to pull a few cards about this if you're open to that. Timing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's see what spirit has to say about this time of death. I, I agree. You, you've, you uh, hit the nail on the head there that it truly is a time of, of darkness and death and hopefully we're coming out of it. <laughs> okay. Well, the first card is the blockage card and I pulled essence. And what I'm getting about that is, um, you know, the, right now in this darkness time, it's kind of like we've lost the essence of true humanity. And it's just, uh, you know, the, the darkness is right. As the light is rising, so is the darkness rising. And so we just need to keep shining more and more light on yeah. this darkness because, you know, you, once the light is, is, is um, put upon it, it, it well, reveals then. itself, right, yeah. and vanishes. And each individual must come to that level of civilization within themselves. Right, right. That's the essence of who we are. It's the time of that question. Who are you? That's are right. You? I, I love it. It's my essence. And, the, and so then the action card is simplicity, which once again, I absolutely love that because it's so true, right? It's coming back to our core essence and, and the simplicity of life and what it means and, and that it's about love and connection and, you know, we are all one and anything that's being done to somebody like these people at the borders, I mean, we're doing it to ourselves. I mean, it's just not okay to treat anybody with less dignity than you would your, your beloved's right in your own home exactly and just as easy how simple death can be embracing the light can be that simple and it's a question of making the choice yes simple and i love it it is and then the outcome card is voyage and what i'm getting about this is like we are truly on a, a voyage to a new world a new um understanding of what this truly is all about. And, and it's like you said, each individual person needs to step up and be authentically who they are in their essence. And, and, you know, that's the only thing way it's going to change. We can't rely on anybody else to do it other than ourselves. Correct. And either, you know, you're going to be Shanghai onto someone else's voyage, or you're going to be a stowaway, you know, you know, because you need a, or you can be the director of your own voyage. Correct. That's that the, is right. That's the light. But I mean, I think a lot of people are getting shanghaied. I'm sorry. And they're not in control of their voyage. And, or they think this is the back to the corporate charismatic being that's going to lead. You're not hitching your, hitching your, your, your tow boat onto their um, ship and you're on their voyage. And it can take you into darkness. And right. So wake up. That's it's right. And, and be the captain of your own ship. I think that's. Your own ship. That's right. That's the message here. Because truly, I, I agree with you. You cannot rely. I think everybody's looking for somebody else to save them. Save yourself. <laughs> yeah. And this is exactly like I was coming to my moment of, this is, you, you want to be authentic. You have to find your core. And you want, because you want to be the captain. Otherwise, I, I, I think it's only either your captain or your Shanghai. Because there's no other choice. You know what I mean? That's right. Um, I agree. Because if, if, I, if I willingly attach myself to you, then I'm still captaining myself because I'm willingly doing it. But if, if everything else is like I'm just sort of asleep and got, you know, caught up, caught up in some mythology when I'm not even awake. Or right. A dream image that someone's putting forth. 
that's asleep. You're not awake. You're getting Shanghai. I completely agree. And it comes right back to your original statement about the fear, right? When you, when you were dead, you were like, oh my gosh, there's no fear. It's all wonderful. It's no worry. Right. But then we come into our bodies and we're in this fear mode and, and then people, you know, want to jump on somebody else's ship rather than do their own thing. But it's time to step up. I mean, it just, that's exactly the boost on me. <laughs>